they have just one hour to cook a two-course meal of their own design. Only one will win a place in the quarter-final. Ben, you're looking a bit tired. Uh, late night last night and obviously all the strains and stresses of a pro kitchen this morning. What are you doing for us? Uh, my starter is a ceviche of, um, of salmon and my main course is marinated lamb on a bed of herbie couscous and, I don't know, a stack of vegetables? I haven't quite decided what I'm going to call it yet. Is there any sauce that's going to go on our couscous, lamb and veg? There's the end of the marinade, which I will reduce. And that marinade is what? It is uh, red currant jelly, um, a little bit of balsamic and red wine. Tell me the cultural crossover between balsamic vinegar, red currant jelly and couscous with coriander. I thought it would be fun. I think he might be able to pull it off because I think the food's interesting, I think it'll have lots of flavour, but it's whether he has enough experience. This is crowd-pleasing food and if it tastes great, who knows? to go. Carrie Ann? Yes. Are you going to impress us with your two dishes? Definitely. And what are they going to be? Um, seared scallops on a beetroot and horseradish puree. Then that's followed by wild sea trout on asparagus with basil oil and balsamic reduction. So quite modern in its feel. My style of food. And what, what is that, do you think? It's fresh, it's clean, it's using good produce. What do you think this says about Carrie Ann the cook? It says good quality food doesn't need a lot doing to it. It just needs to speak for itself. I think it's relying too much on expensive ingredients and that's all it's doing. The scallops beetroot horseradish, that sounds lovely to me. <laughs> Michelle, you've got lots of bowls of goodies here. What's going on? Uh, I'm making the Hyderabadi prawn biryani and uh, a shrikant, which is an Indian uh, dessert with yogurt. Oh, OK. Well, see, there's actually two kinds of biryani, and the Hyderabadi is actually from the south where I'm from, and it's made with more tomatoes and onions as opposed to fresh cream. At this point, I just want to impress. And I know if I want to impress you, I've got to make the best biryani that I've ever made in my life. It's got to be very, very good. I've got confidence in that. One minute, please. That's it, guys. Your time's up. Ben's devised a starter of salmon marinated in lime juice with avocado and pepper. And to follow, lamb kebabs in a red currant, balsamic and red wine marinade with couscous and vegetables. No, I don't like it. I'm fair enough. I really enjoy the taste you've got on the fish. I really like the sweet acidity. Mm. That I love. The crunch of the pepper just washes it all away. The lime juice with the fish is really delicious. And it really is very, very refreshing. But it looks as though we've just put some marinated salmon over an avocado. OK. Let's bring in the main. Your lamb is very well cooked. The marinade you have is sweet, but in the couscous, all that juice seeping into it is making the whole thing far too sweet. The lamb is good. But then suddenly you get this red currant jelly into your mouth. It's like, oh, what's that there for? Michelle's hoping to win over the judges with a Hyderabadi prawn biryani and a shrikan dessert with mango and pistachio nuts. You need to get right in there. Yeah, OK. Mm. Your prawn is beautifully cooked and the flavours build up in layers of spice very nice. Delicious, crunchy cashew nuts. The onions are slightly caramelised, which give you a really depth of flavour. Oh, yeah. That's good news. Let's move on and bring in your shrikand. The yoghurt is beautiful. 
and it's sweet and thick and sticky like honey. And you end up with the sweetness and crunch of those nuts. And it's beautifully balanced. The most surprising thing for me is the rose water and the mango because they're both very, very fragrant and they come together. Pistachio nuts are nice and crunchy and full of flavour. I like your food, Michelle. Carrie Ann's hopes are resting on seared scallops with a beetroot and horseradish puree and a mane of wild sea trout with asparagus, tomatoes, balsamic reduction and basil oil. I think it looks very good. I like the idea of the pea shoots on the outside. Salty bacon, definitely the prominent flavour. Sweet scallop, I think they're very well cooked. I think the way your puree has been done and everything else together is done very, very well indeed. I doubted the dish at first, but your skill, I think, is, is showing very, very well here. Yummy. Scallop flavour throughout, it was on my tongue. I get all that sea scallop sweet flavour. Sweetness of beetroot, big, sharp, salty flavour and bit of crunch with the bacon. Good. Smiles back on your face. <laughs> right, let's move on. Beautifully cooked piece of trout. Sea trout and asparagus are the two flavours which you get absolutely the most. It's all well seasoned, it's all well cooked. It comes in with a slight basil flavour that grows with intensity, and then you get the lovely trout. Sticky balsamic doesn't work for me, it feels like a dessert in there. Asparagus iron at the end. I think you, you may have been better off with something softer than, than really strong asparagus. Thank you, off you go. We've got a quarter-final place up for grabs and it should go to the best cook right now. And that best cook right now is not Ben. Ah, oh. He is brave, he's willing. There are an odd mix of flavours, textures. It just looks shoddy in comparison with the two ladies. Aubergine, red currant jelly ain't gonna work together. Courgette, red currant jelly ain't gonna work together. I'm really sorry, it just doesn't work. Right, OK, Ben goes, that leaves us with Michelle or Carrie Ann. When I saw Michelle cooking, I thought, this is exciting stuff, and you're going to bring something different to this competition. What Michelle today cooked, accomplished, in the time she had with such ease, I think was quite incredible. It's now what happens if you put her in a situation where she gets under pressure, because today in the pro kitchen, Michelle didn't cope. Carrie Ann did very well in the pro kitchen today. She cooked two quite interesting dishes. I didn't necessarily believe the idea of the sea trout was going to work, but a lot of those flavours were very, very subtle. Really nice flavour of basil, trout cooked beautifully. Two quite accomplished dishes. I'm really happy about the comments that Greg and John have given me and hopefully they can see that I have potential to go further. It's about whose style of food can make an impact, and it's Michelle's. This food of the south of the subcontinent of India I find exciting. You think that lady's put in? Pistachio, cardamom, honey, yoghurt, mango, saffron. That's a skilled palate that can blend those things together without one overpowering the other. That's clever cooking. I feel great, oh, but I also feel apprehensive. And I'm just hoping, I'm really hoping I did enough to get me through to the quarterfinals. Now, MasterChef, the hints in the word, is Michelle good enough to be MasterChef? because Carrie Ann today has proved it. Our quarter finalist is Michelle. Congratulations. <laughs> It meant a lot to me to get further in MasterChef, but unfortunately, it's not to be. And I'll continue, hopefully, cooking at home. I am proud of what I've achieved. Um, I was the youngest person out of all six of us yesterday, and therefore, I think I've achieved a lot. I am just totally, totally gobsmacked. It's going to be hard, but I am looking forward to it. I will be up for the challenge. I really will be. I just got through the quarterfinals. 